Hi everyone, we're back. Um, I've wet the hair down a little bit and then I'm going to do the blow dry technique today. So really great session for those new starts that are looking forward to starting with us in July 2020. Um, we're very excited to have you joining us at Michael John. So it's a great little session for you. I've just cut this, so it's Bevel Bob for those that may have seen it before as well. Uh, I've wet it down just a little bit but this is great sort of um, dampness to start beginning a blow dry technique on. Uh, I'm going to work uh, a wrap dry technique and basically what I mean by that is we wrap the hair at the root area to create a smooth look with a little bit of volume and then I'm just going to leaf the ends like pages of a leaf, um, leaves of a page sorry, um, we just sort of smooth the hair with the brush and a dryer as well. Um, because this is a bevel bob and by bevel I mean a slight lift at the end and on the fringe, I'm going to dry it that way to enhance the movement of the haircut that I've just created as well. I'm going to work with a little bit of product, I'm going to work with my favourite which is John Master's hair milk uh, as well with frozen apricot as well, it's a natural product as well and uh, it's just really great for any hair type, smooth it through, it smells just absolutely incredible. I uh, love these products, my fave as well, I'm just working through, oh, smelling that takes me back to being in salon. So fabulous as well, missing it. Lovely guys, thank you, thanks so much, that's great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to drying it actually and I've got a few bits left still to refine on the fringe area. I just want to sort of detail those afterwards as well, but hey, let's do it. I'm going to be blow drying it anyway, so I thought, why not just blow dry it on camera? So that's what I'm going to do actually guys, I'm just going to blow dry it. I'm going to give you a quick sort of explanation. Uh, dryer and brush work together in this instance, as they do in many. And I actually work with a high dryer, so my hair dryer is quite high, and my brush does all the work. So this is just a heat source, and what this is doing is this is my brush is actually going to create the smooth lock. And I'm going to begin by drying the roots through first, so it's actually going to be working through all the root area, and then I'm going to smooth through to actually create that lock. Who's going to see actually? That help. Yeah, a little bit more light. That's good. Uh, as well through there. Okay. One sec. Sorry. Oh yeah, light. Lighting. Sorry, I'm just trying to play around with lights. It's really dark outside. Uh, as well, so I'm going to smooth the roots through, I'm going to wrap it. And what we mean by wrap dry is we wrap the hair around the head in all different directions and that smooths the roots. Then we bevel the edges by applying tension with the brush and the dryer together. And what it will create is a very smooth but natural look. So it won't be straight but it'll be smooth. So it'll still have natural lift and movement and it'll just tuck the ends in and smooth the cuticle, which in turn will create shine as well. I'm working with a GHD dryer today. As you'll see, I'm not wearing a nozzle attachment. I don't always wear a nozzle attachment. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. More often I don't wear a nozzle attachment because I like the hair to move in its natural way. I don't necessarily want to over blow dry it, over push it. Because I want to see how the client is going to look when the client dries it. My main goal when I cut hair is to ensure that the client doesn't really need to blow dry it, to be honest. It could, this could drip dry, this could actually just, just dry air dry as well, and um, it could easily just fall into this shape because I've considered how the hair will move once it's cut as well, but of course we're going to blow dry it today as well. I'm going to begin in the back, through here. I'm going to take sections that start by lifting all this hair up and over. So I'm going to push this out the way, like so, and then I'm going to start to dry the underneath sections and then I'm going to work through to the opposite side. So I'm going to turn my dryer on, medium speed, high heat in this instance, but again you do as you work the manufacturer's, work with your manufacturer's instructions, <laughs> that's what I'm going to say, and obviously you'll need to determine what speed and what heat you need for what style you're creating as well. Okay. So I'm just lifting the hair up away because I'm going to drive this section first. just going through and I'm just joining the brush in and I'm just really making sure it's nice and smooth. I'm going to work with both hands and I'm going to start to brush the hair over to one side. This will help smooth the hair. I, I concentrate on the underneath first and then work to the top.
my brush is doing the smoothing this is just the heat source so this won't cause any damage to the hair it's very caring blow dry it's not too much heat Sorry. smoothing something so we're going nice and high now i'm going to dry the top this is going to make the cuticle shine Again, and just really smooth down. So what I've done here, just on this section here, is I've dried the root area as well. So it's nice and smooth and dry. And then what I'll need to do is just bevel the edges with the brush. But I'm going to carry on now through to the front. You'll also need to get used to working with both hands. So on this side, I'm using my dry my brush in the right, my dryer in the left, and then I swap round for the opposite side. So you have to develop dexterity skills that are able to accommodate this, this, this task as well. So I'm just going to carry on now, blow drying the roots. The brush is repetitively, repetitively working through the hair to smooth the cuticles. And I'm using the head like a roller to create that smoothness. I'm now working through the side. I'm avoiding the fringe, so I'm going to dry that differently. It's almost dry already. I'm just going to go back through this section one more time. Just really ensuring that it's all nice and dry. Just for the roots, I can dry them with lengths and ends later. I can't forget, I know it took me a long time to learn as well how to do it with both hands. And still, this is my weakest one. I do it the other way usually, but yeah, I just find it does give you the better. It helps me bevel the edges really well. So again, I'm just moving now into the ends a little bit more to help smooth those cuticles. Through the section. So as you can see, what this has created is that smooth root area will create a, with a little natural lift, but I need to smooth those edges out a little bit more. So now I'm going to work through to the opposite side to do the same thing, and then I'll show you the bevel technique, how we bevel the edges to create. And now I'm, I've changed the hand position. So everything gets blown backwards. So we're blowing it all back, which will help the end sort of. If you blow it forward, you'll find the ends will curl up. But if you blow it back, when it sits down, it'll just tuck in nicely. So always blow your bobs back, like back. And if you're doing it on your own hair, and then back, like that. And when it sits, it'll just tuck in slightly. If you blow it forward, when it does, it sort of curls up on itself like that. It's a little bit, well, it's a little bit too much, really. So, so yeah, I'm going to work through to the back. Maybe five. So again, just pushing this hair away. I'm going to drive underneath first. And I'm just working that section through. And again, I'm just forming this to the opposite side. I'm now working through the top. And I'm taking sections with the brush. I'm now going to work through to the side. I'm 
And again, bringing everything back like this way. down and then take the sections once more just to ensure it's fully dry the root area. Now I'm going to start to dry the fringing. And I'm just going to bevel the edges of the fringe. So what I do is I take the hair into the brush like this. So it's a twisting action with my finger watch. Twist like this. So just twist that through. And that's going to help me create the bevel, the slight curve on the fringe. Like so. So now we've dried the fringe fully through as well, and you can see that's when really some of these sections need to be cut in yet as well. So again, now I'm just checking to see if the roots are fully dry and they are as well. But now what we want to do is we want to smooth the ends a little bit more off the bob, just to create that really super smooth and super slick look as well. So again, what we want to do is just again take sections. Now you've got options here. You can use a clip or you can just use your hands as well. It depends on really how you sort of choose to work. I like to work with clips because I like to be, you know, quite structured in my work. So I, I will take a section and take a clip here and now I'll start to smooth this section as well. Again, working with the dryer in the opposite hand and now start to smooth this out onto the ends, like so. So I'm over the top and I'm just smoothing the hair down all the way to the ends, ensuring that the ends are nicely silky and soft. So you've got to go all the way down to the bottom. Check what you've created and then carry on. take my next section now I'm just going to use the brush and then that'll help me push that hair away that I don't need at this point as well and then I'm just going to go through at this point I'm going to join the fringe with the length just to make sure that there's no areas where there's a, a slight gap as well A little bit more smoothing just at this front bit here.
allow the parting to fall. It will fall back to where you set it before, so don't worry as well. And then I always stand at the opposite side and work over when I'm smoothing the ends. It gives me the best finish. So again, I'm just going to give a little slight lift at the root as well. But not too much. I don't want to force artificial movement in the hair. And again, I'm going to join it to the fringe. Just to make sure it all falls in really nice and softly. And then again, smooth down. Two going to glance and ends. I'm just going to finish those ends just with a little bevel. So I'm going to work towards the ends and then I'm going to turn my brush slightly. It will just tuck the ends in nicely, which is what I want for this haircut. That shape. Opposite side. Hands. And we'll just blow Join to the fringe. work on your ends I just want to quickly add when you're going through to the ends like here when you're on the ends just move the dryer slightly back and forth and it will help to really set those ends because when we're running through the hair like this we sometimes run off the edge before we've actually smoothed it so sometimes you just want to spend just a couple of seconds more on the edge as well A little bit of lift, just at the roots. Allow it to join the fringe naturally, so the two aren't split. I'm just gonna, you can see I've beveled the edge nice as well. I'm really happy with that. Just gonna go through and just make sure it's nice and sealed and as smooth as I can get it while still keeping the natural movement of the hair. So 
don't want to work through to the back. I'm going to take a section right across the back. Just flip that away, you can see. And now what I can do is just smooth the edge as well. You can come over the top like you did before. Join the front to the back, so take the front and then pull it back and that will join the two together. Like this. Allow the hair to naturally fall when you work on the last top section as well. And then again, smooth through the hair. <laughs> Just going to finish the fringe.
Okay, so we've got dried the hair through, and I did a little bit of a tension dry on there as well. I'm just going to give you a bit of a close up. Uh, we've got a really nice, lovely, smooth finish, but kept the natural movement and integrity of the hair as well. We've not overly shaped it into anything that would be too out of its normal and natural shape as well, which really helps me refine this haircut to its true and natural form, really, as well. And that's what this is the reason why I choose this drying process over any other really, but I do do other blow dry, you know, sometimes I'll get around brushing a, a nozzle out, I like to do that as well. What I've also found is as well as this section here really wants to sit in the fringe, and you'll find that sometimes when you blow dry your new haircut that you've just put in, a little section will go, no, I'm, I'm fringe, put me in fringe please, so I'm going to put it in the fridge, because <laughs> that's where it wants to sit, so that's really, really important as well. So again, so I'm looking at just how the hair is naturally moved. Now, if I'd have got a round brush and a nozzle, I'd never known that that section was going to sit there because I would have pushed it back into the sides using a nozzle and a, and a round brush. But because I actually wrap dried the hair from the root in different directions, it allowed it to move in its natural state. So I know that this will be included in the fringe section and it will be when she cuts it. I mean, sorry, when she blow dries it. Sorry. Although some of our clients probably are cutting their own hair, right as we speak. <laughs> Let's hope not. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm going to refine it as well. I'm going to go through. Um, little tip, guys. Um, if you want to refine um, your haircuts on a block, um, it, you've got to get them into position at first. I do use a little bit of hairspray when doing this as well. It just helps everything sit in place. I'll give it a shake afterwards and really make sure that it's not, because I like hair that moves. I hate hair that's, that's static. I want it to have a little bit of movement. Uh, so I'm just going to grab, actually I've got my hairspray. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah. Ta-da! Apologies, <laughs> I forgot it. It's in, I have literally half of Michael John's stock holding in my house. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of stuff. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a little bit of hairspray. This is gonna help hold the hair in place when I refine it as well, just a little bit. Nice, nice distance away. And all I'm gonna do is just spray it in. It's just gonna help keep everything in place while I start refining. Really great if you're working on a block. You can do this on humans too, you know. But it does help with a block as well because sometimes they're difficult to refine and if you really want to push yourself to that higher state, um, you know, a little bit of hairspray can just help you. But I'm seeing a little bit, I'm seeing a lot of things on Instagram, block work, and it's absolutely stuck solid with hairspray and then they've cut out of shape. Now I'm sorry that's not hairdressing because that's just basically setting something and then cutting it like a sculpture. Which is great if we were cutting like blocks of marble. But this is hair, it moves. So you're just putting a little bit on to help you not to artificially create a shape that's not actually going to work. Oops. Oh, it's all happening today. Here we go. There we go, that's great, I'm really happy with that. So instantly we know that this section is going to be refined in there as well. Uh, I'll be there. <laughs> Scissors might help. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do this. So I'm going to look through. I can see underneath here, I'm going to try and bring them as close as possible, that we've got a little bit to refine just on these edges as well. This has got graduation in it, so you will see graduation because that's what we've actually created. And it's a very low bevel graduation, you can see. If you look at it from the side, that's what a bevel does. It just tucks in slightly. Rather than it going triangular like this, it actually just tucks it in. It's a beautiful shape, absolutely beautiful shape as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to tailor this little bit of a bottom here, just through there. I'm working on very, very small incisions and I'm just carving my way through. You need quite a pointed scissor to do this as well. 
you know, that's why we sometimes advise, as you get on in your career, you'll get different blades for different activities. I love these scissors for refining. They're one of my favourites, actually. Not necessarily all that expensive, either. So I'm just going to go through now. And you can see already, just by doing that, I've just cleaned that line there. Can you see? It's much, much, much cleaner. I need a good haircut. You'll have to come to Manchester when lockdown's over and I'll give you one. <laughs> Be fun. Now I'll come to Luxembourg. Actually, let's do that. I'm gonna to come to Luxembourg. That's way more fun. So I'll come cut your hair in Luxembourg when we're all done. Fabulous. So I'm working through the sides now. You see, I've got a little bit here. Can you see this little bit? That just needs refining. That's just from earlier as well. We probably I probably relaxed the tension a little. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um I probably relaxed the tension a little bit too much here, but it's better to have a bit sticking out than a bit sticking in because I can't put it back on. So I'm happy with that because now I can really make sure... She's going to have to stay still. Please stay still, madam. Thank you. She's very naughty. Now I can really refine it. Da, 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 da. And I'm just going through and I'm just really super refining that shape. I always allow 15 minutes for this. We are not in lockdown anymore, really. Well, we, we are, kind of. Well, we think we are. Well, we get told many different things. <laughs> I'm sure some people watching this will agree with me. You watch the speech, the speech on Sunday night, I was like, I'm not quite sure what to do. But Michael John has been advising me. Lovely. I'm really happy with this. Yes, I'm going to do... I'll do some videos for story as well. So you can see in clear detail what we've actually created. And I'll do a little bit of description as well. So you can see here, that's the side I've just refined. Can you see that line there? It's nice and lovely, a little bit of a bevel. And look, see if we didn't refine our haircuts, we'd have this little bit sticking out. That's why you need to leave about 15 minutes of your appointment time for refinement as well. So I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to refine this bit. Just through that. I'm just going to go inside now. Just to refine any hairs that are not playing ball. I'm just going to check in the centre back that I'm really connecting this side through. That's really important. So as you can see, I'm going to turn that. So I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to make sure that's really refined. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And this is what I love about the bevel bob because you can actually see where the light's reflecting here, where the curve of the hair is actually starting. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. We've still got your Zoom session to do, you and uh, as well, so we'll uh, have to do that as well. That'll be really cool. As well, we're going to start doing some Zoom sessions as well, so anyone that's got blocks can join in on those, but anyone can as well, but we can do one-on-one -on -one zooms. I'm going to go through to the opposite side now. I'm going to refine as well. So I'm just going to spend some time. You just assess what you're working with. Can you see here? I've got a little bit of bumps as well. So I just need to go through and I just need to refine. I'm going to work with a strong elbow at this point as well. So this is actually what's creating the line. If you're all like this, like, mm, you know, you've got to be like, you know, strong and go right through and keep a good, strong elbow because we're actually working completely freehand now. I need to hold the other side with the uh, block. Because she's not playing ball today. So I'm just going through. There, nice and refined. With the fringe, I love how it's actually moving because that's how clients' fringes will really move. Can you see it's actually slightly going through? It's slightly tilting one way. That will happen with people fringes. Look at my fringe. No matter what I do, 
it parts there because I've got a car flick. So I can bring bits over and this, that and the other, but there's no point working against it all the time. You've just got to go with what's happening, really. And that's what, in my opinion, is great hair cutting. I'm just going to go through and refine this line freehand. If this was a real client, I would protect her face with some sort of um, a piece of paper or a, a face guard as well. I'm just going through and I'm just really refining the sections that are coming in. Now when we reach the sides here, we need to actually definitely refine this. There is disconnection because the fringe doesn't connect all the way into the length as well. So we need to make sure that this area is very tidy. Because to be honest, you'll find that you'll get bumps and bits over it. You'll also find different fringes exist on top of one another. So you'll see one fringe that goes from here to here, then one fringe that goes all the way back here. This bit's grown out because one hairdresser cut it one way, one hairdresser cut it another. When you actually, thank you, it looks perfect like that. Oh, thanks, for, thanks, Ray. Um, um, you've got to decide, like you can't leave these bits hanging over. They're really annoying for clients. So you've got to actually make sure that you do spend time refining your fringes. If your clients are growing bits out, like they've said, oh, it was cut way too back last time. I want to grow these bits out. That's different. But you'll know that through the consultation. And I'm just really refining that side. You can see what I mean now. Like I've really refined that line through there. And I'm just going to do the same in the opposite side. And I'm just going to go through now. Now what I'm actually doing, note, I'm stood on the opposite side. Because what's actually happening here, when I stand on the opposite side, I can go in like that. If I stand on this side, I'm going in like that and my hand's actually in the way. So when you actually refine like that, your hand's in the way. What you want to do is come this way. So I'm actually coming round and then I'm refining like that. And that's going to help me get in there tighter, which means that I can refine this section much more easier. And I'm just going to go through and balance both sections out because this side's a little bit longer now. And again, there would be a guard on her, over her eyes. But um, she's a bit of a daredevil. She said I'm all right to not use one today. <laughs> she's, got, she's got beautiful eyes. I'm just really going through. You've got to do a real visual assessment on a fringe as well because it's quite a focal point. You know, clients will really notice if one side's like slightly droopier than the other as well. So you've just got to really go through and really ensure that you've actually tailored that right. I'm going to bring her down so you can see her a little bit more. Here we go. Now that's the fringe. One side, other side as well. Natural movement as well, I've not, I've not pushed that away. I'm gonna give it a bit more of a salon finish as well before I actually video it. Cause then sometimes I say to clients, do you wanna leave it like this in your natural form? Or would you like me to refine the edge with a round brush and a nozzle? And some will say, yeah, could you like shish it up or put some curls in or something? Or some will say, no, actually, you know what? I love it in my natural shape. And I know this is gonna work for me at home. Cause I actually teach my clients how to blow dry as well. I think that's really important. Just gonna check my graduation from before. So as well, I'm just pulling it up and out and I'm just dusting. When I say dust, I mean I'm just taking through, I'm just refining those edges of that graduation. And that's just gonna really help with the bevel. It'll also now brush out that hairspray because I don't want it looking sticky. There we go, lovely. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Feeling it today. I'm going to show you the back. I'm going to actually bring her a bit lower so I can show you. There we go. Oh, I think I don't want to cut her tomorrow. I might cut one of my other ones for tomorrow. I think I want to leave her in this lovely bob. Just for a little bit. Would you like to keep this bob? Yes, yeah, she wants to keep it. So I think I'm going to have to get one of my other victims tomorrow <laughs> for contemporary cutting. I'm just going through and I'm just checking. When we say dusting, that's what we mean by dusting. You see those little bits that sit over like that? You're just refining those very, very edges. 
And that does make a difference on a hair cut. It will make it last longer. That's what we're actually wanting to do here. So just going through and just refining those edges. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna keep the bob. Keep the bob. For a couple of weeks, yeah. And she needs some highlights actually, I think. She could be on the classic colour course next week. We're doing classic colour next week. I've just decided. <laughs> I just make all this up, you know, really. They're not actual real courses, but I hope you're all enjoying them. <laughs> just having fun. Okay, I'm done, guys. So, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to take her off the... Um... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spin the camera around. Because I think the other camera's a bit better. Ooh. Oh, that's a rubbish angle. Here we go. Let's get this one. Ah, there we go. Ah, there. I think that looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Excuse my house, I've moved all my furniture to shoot this today. Gonna, oh, she needs cleaning, but and you can see this lovely line. I'll do some more videos afterwards as well. Pull her right into the ring light. Ah, there we go. Yeah. So, as well. Needs a little bit of... She needs a bit more of a salon finish on this, I think, to be honest. I probably would salon finish her. Because I'd want that line much more, like, stronger. Which is what I'm going to do in a few minutes. So, I'll, um... I'll, um, just let me switch you back around. Um, so what I'll do is, um... I'll, I'll shoot a couple... I'll do a couple of vids just for the story. I just might go over it to the straighteners and really refine it to see you can see a different style option. The difference what you saw now, like, this is more... You know, loose and free as well. But yeah, so that's her. That's it. Hope you've enjoyed this session, guys. I hope you've all picked something up from it. Stylist, assistant, uh, almost qualified stylist, senior stylist, salon owner, um, whoever's been watching. Um, brand new start to our industry. We welcome you with open arms as well. And um, for those Michael John learners watching, yeah, you've got your quiz, today's quiz. Tomorrow is contemporary cutting. I'll be back again at four for contemporary cutting. I'm also doing a session at three for the new starts as well, but that's just a hair up for new starts, but anyone can watch. And tomorrow we'll have a quiz as well, along with a new head sheet. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's session, guys. It's been great, and uh, it'll be on the live for the next 24 hours. Have a lovely evening, stay safe, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye, say bye, bye-bye, thank you. <laughs> see you guys.